Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Morrow College virtual student panel. We're super excited to get to talk to you today about some of the questions that hopefully you would have had for us if you were able to visit campus this semester. So um, my name is Mackenzie Johnson, and I'm the recruitment coordinator for the Morrow College. And today with me, I have three of our awesome student ambassadors here to answer um, some of the bigger questions that we get about what, what it's like to be a student here um, at WSU and in Morrow. So, Without much further ado, I will turn it over to them to let them go ahead and introduce themselves and then we'll jump right into some questions. Cool. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Cameron. Uh, I'm a senior here at WSU and uh, I'm majoring in journalism, uh, media journal journalism broadcast. Good God, it's early in the morning. I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> there it is. Um, I'm Madison. Um, I'm majoring in multimedia journalism. Um, I'm a junior and then my hometown is Brasilia. Hey guys, I'm Ariel Yakbazi. I am a junior here at WSU. I am studying broadcast news, um, majoring in that, but I'm also taking uh, broadcast production classes so I can be a little bit more marketable in the field. Um, I'm from Enumclaw, Washington, west side of the state. Awesome. Great. Well, I think we'll jump right into our questions. Um, if you have any questions after watching this panel, you can reach out to us at any time and we'll go over our contact information at the end. Um, but the first question I always like to start um, asking our ambassadors is why did you guys choose WSU and then why did you choose Murrow? Um, so I'll turn it back over to Cameron. Uh, so I chose WSU because um, I'm from the west side as well. I'm from Tacoma, and it was just far enough away from family that I didn't have to see them all the time, but it was close enough that I could go back when I wanted to. Um, I also knew that the production, um, Murrow, excuse me, was really strong. Um, I heard a lot about it, and I was really excited to get involved with it. Uh, overall, I wasn't sure when I got here uh, how I was going to really put this into like an entertainment area that's where I really want to have my focus in so when I got here I was able to find some really strong clubs and some really good friends and um, it really made Murrow kind of my home away from home. Yeah so I chose WSU and Murrow because most of my family went to WSU and so growing up I would go to football games I'd come to Poland for different events and I just really fell in love with it um, it felt like as soon as I stepped on campus, I felt like I was welcome and that was a really close-knit community that I was looking for. And then specifically Murrow, um, I really wanted to, I knew I wanted to go into journalism since I was like in eighth grade and I knew that the program was strong as well. And yeah. I chose Murrow, uh, well, WSU specifically, because um, I got accepted and I wanted to go to Western Washington, which is Western Washington University, which is in Bellingham. I uh, really liked the campus over there. I thought it was super cute, but my mom really encouraged me to come to her WSU because she went here. So I'm like, okay, why not? Uh -huh. The second I stepped on campus, I was like in love. It's amazing here. It's like just gorgeous, just walking around, it's beautiful. Um, but I chose Murrow specifically because I really want to be an anchor in a large market, so New York or LA, and this is the place to do it. We have a lot of uh, alum in the in the network or in the uh, in the industry, so um, it's a, just a great place to be. And I'm learning so many amazing things, and I've heard I heard great things before coming here, so uh, I just thought it was the right choice. Great. Um, now that you guys are all here, right, you made the choice to choose WSU and Murrow, and you guys have been here for a while now. Um, what so far has been your favorite class in the Murrow College? Um, again, I'll turn it back over to Cameron if you guys just want to share a little bit about that. Um, a class I really enjoyed was uh, COM 421. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I think it was about ethics. Um, or I could be incorrect, but it was a lot of fun. Um, I really learned a lot in that class. It really made you think outside the box. Uh, that was really interesting to me uh, because it wasn't kind of a, a black and white kind of answer. All, all answers were correct as long as there was a good context and reasoning behind it. And I really liked that. Um, it made me feel like I was in college uh, because I was actually thinking. Um, and I love that. Another class would be Comp 300. Um, you guys will probably hear about this class later on, but I really enjoyed it. It made me a stronger writer. Uh, I could visibly see my writing improve uh, from before I took it to after. Uh, so those are 
probably two of my favorites, I would say. Yeah, my favorite class, I'm actually in it right now, it's uh, reporting across platforms. And I really like it because it's not just writing for print or writing for paper, you always so get to use video and you get to incorporate social media into your um, articles that you write and you get to learn a lot more detailed um, information about reporting. And I just really like it. Um, my favorite class is, I'm in it right now, uh, Comdor 465, that's uh, broadcast television news. So basically in this class you learn how to anchor, you learn how to be a sports anchor, you learn how to do weather, you learn how to produce a show, and it's a real newscast that you get to produce and you get to create and you get to write stories for it, you get to learn how to make graphics, and it's a newscast and you get to put it together. And it's amazing because we're students and it's all student run. Of course we have our professors to help us out, but it's mostly us doing all of the work and I'm learning how to be a better uh, on camera personality and learning how to be a better journalist and learning just anything and everything and I absolutely love it. That's great. I love hearing about you guys' favorite courses on campus. Um, hopefully, as you prospective students are watching this video and you think about classes that you want to take or classes that you're interested in, you can reach out to us and talk to them about some of the classes that our ambassadors have done um, in the past, and they would be happy to share more of that. Um, I think the next really important piece that we always hear about in Murrow is not just the classroom piece, but the things that we do outside of the classroom. So for this next question, you guys want to talk maybe a little bit about the clubs and opportunities that you guys are involved in in Murrow, but also at WSU. Yeah, uh, so one thing I love about WSU is if you see something that you want to do, you can do it. It's achievable. Everything's achievable. Uh, so when I was here freshman year, there was a there is a college production company here on camp campus called Cable 8. Uh, I decided to get involved with that and I was able to actually earn credit as a director or producer. Um, I've acted in shows which have been on YouTube. We've been nominated for student Emmys. Um, there's a whole lot of things you can do with that. Um, another group I was able to get involved with was um, the Pullman Stand-Up Comedy Club. I actually founded it um, because I really enjoy doing stand-up comedy and there was nothing around here on campus that we could do stand-up. So I said, okay, well, how would I go through the steps to create a comedy club? And it wasn't too hard, as a matter of fact. Uh, it took me about two weeks, and then boom, I had my own RSO, and um, it was great. I, I loved it. Uh, I let it go last semester just because I got overwhelmed, but um, it's in pretty good hands right now. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah, so just like Cameron, I also got involved when I was a freshman. Uh, I started writing for the Daily Evergreen, which is the student newspaper here on campus. And you get paid per article, um, but I just really liked it because you um, got to build friendships while you're there with the other reporters. And you also get firsthand experience writing and talking to people on campus for the articles that you write. Um, I'm also involved with the Association for Women in Communication, which is um, on campus here. It's, um, it's nationally, and then WSU also has a chapter, and that's focused on professional development. Um, they, go, they go over your resume, um, business cards, stuff like that. Um, besides Murrow, I'm also involved with uh, residence life, and so that's a fun thing to do when you're a freshman, because they always have events going on. Yeah. Um, like Cameron, I was involved, I've been involved with Cable 8 uh, ever since the start of my college career. My first semester of freshman year, I was a little bit timid, not sure what I could do. So I just kind of got involved with my residence hall, um, like, like, um, like a lot of people do. And I was a part of the hall gov. I did, I was a secretary. So that was a kind of a good way to just kind of just get started. And then the second semester I heard about Cable 8 and I thought that, that sounds, that sounds kind of like what I want to do. So I, um, I applied to be an assistant producer and it was a lot of fun. I got to learn how to edit and how to film, how to write a script. It was really cool. And it's not so newsy. Um, there are newsy aspects to it, but it was, it was just cool kind of just learning about that kind of stuff. And then the next semester after that, I produced my own show. And the, the cool thing about Cable Aid is you, anything you want to create, you can do it. You just have to pitch it and the exec members have to um, approve it. And then you have a whole semester to make six episodes of content and it's awesome. Um, I also 
am a Murrow ambassador, which is a lot of fun. I get to represent the Murrow College and I absolutely love it. It's just an amazing place. Um, as far as right now, uh, for Cable 8, I am the HR director. Um, I'm hoping to be president next year. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna apply and run for it. We'll see what happens. Um, and then I also, uh, just as far as work goes, I work at the Spark Starbucks on campus and it's a lot of fun. It's a great gig to have on the side. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Great. So as you guys can see, our students are really, really involved both at WCU and at Murrow and in their own personal working jobs. Um, they kind of like to combine all of that together to get a really great WCU student experience. So I'm really glad that they're here to talk with you guys today. Um, the next piece is kind of related to that. Um, in the Murrow College, as our students know, there are lots of different ways to get communication credit towards your degree. Um, and two of those opportunities are studying abroad and doing internships. We actually give credit for both of those opportunities, whether it's studying abroad in the summer or for a full semester. Same thing with an internship, whether you're doing it in the summer or while you're here at WSU taking classes. So um, again, kind of starting with Cameron, um, have you participated in any internships or study abroad opportunities that you'd like to share? Yeah, uh, so I was fortunate enough last semester, uh, no, last year, excuse me, spring, summer, wow, summer, I was able to get a summer internship over in New York uh, City, which was great. I got to live with family over in New Jersey. I made the commute in every day. And I worked at a talent agency uh, right downtown, right next to Chelsea Market, if you know where that is. Uh, it was a real good time. Uh, I learned a lot. I really did. You learn a lot about the industry when you're there and you're hands on. I got to see just so many different kinds of people. Um, I met a few people from um, Orange is the New Black. I met a few actresses from there. Um, as a matter of fact, Kanye was in my building at one point. I didn't realize that, but he was upstairs. I was like, oh my God. Uh, yeah, I got to feel that presence. That was great. Uh, but yeah, it was really fantastic. A great experience overall. Um, and it really set me up for next semester. So right now I, I was able to get an interview with CBS um, for a summer internship in their comedy development uh, team, as well as Daily Show over in New York with Trevor Noah. Uh, so we'll see what happens with everything that's going on right now. It might happen, it might not. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really thankful. Uh, Murrow really set me up for that as well. Uh, because if I wouldn't have had this experience in Cable A or, you know, uh, comedy or working wherever it may be, I wouldn't have had the experience to go and apply for these positions. So um, yeah, that's why I kind of did. So yeah, I was also able to have a summer internship last summer. Um, and I'm from the Eastern Washington, so I was like, I just, I really want an internship. I don't know where, but um, I'll try the Colfax newspaper, the Whitman County Gazette. And so I just walked into their office and I was like, so do you have any internships available? And he was like, oh yeah, just give me your resume and then you can have the internship. And so it was pretty easy um, and it was a great experience. I got to work there all summer um, and I was, had all the responsibilities of a regular paid reporter. Um, I was also paid too. Um, and yeah, I learned a lot about the industry and more community-based reporting instead of in the city. Um, so that was also an interesting aspect. Um, I have not had the chance to get an internship yet. I haven't done one, but I do have one. I just got one, the opportunity um, a few weeks ago. I in interviewed for a position at KHQ 6 in Spokane. That's a pretty uh, heavily Coug populated uh, news station. So I get to work there over the summer for credit, which is phenomenal. I'll be working 160 hours this summer. Um, and I basically get to learn how to be a reporter and be an anchor. So I get to job shadow the anchors and the reporters and create my own content using their equipment. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Some, some uh, industry level equipment and I'm very excited for that. I did apply for a couple of internships in LA at ABC7. Unfortunately, I didn't get those, but that's okay because now I've made connections with some higher ups in the industry and I have some connections with some coops over there. So that, that'll come in handy hopefully um, later. Um, as far as study abroad, I've not done that yet, but I think it would be a great opportunity because we have some pretty um, cool stuff going on in Murrow as far as uh, study abroad options. And I'm sure Mackenzie will talk about that. 
Absolutely. Well, thank you all for sharing those opportunities. Um, here in the Morrow College, like Ariel mentioned, we do actually have specific study abroad trips that our faculty take our students on over the summer. Um, some changes this summer with everything going on um, in the country right now, but um, typically trips to places like Greece or France, um, along with your faculty members, a great opportunity for our Morrow students. So we definitely encourage our students to take a look at those opportunities, um, most of which are listed um, on our website, um, or you can contact us for more information to learn more about those. Um, so as you guys hear, heard our awesome students talk about the opportunities that they're involved in on campus, um, I'm sure all you're thinking now is how do I get involved? How do I get there? What do I do next? So the biggest question that I think I like to ask during this panel is what are you guys' tips for students that maybe have just barely applied to WSU or they're planning to come maybe in the fall semester? What tips do you guys have for them about being a student for the very first time at WSU and in Murrow? And I'll turn it over to you, Cameron. So one of my biggest tips I would say is uh, make friends and connections. Uh, definitely make friends when you get here. Um, I remember my freshman year, I kind of hid in my dorm for the first half of it. And um, that was definitely a bummer because I missed out on a lot of things that were going on across campus. I mean, there's always something going on. So get out of your dorm, talk to people, maybe even meet your roommate, um, but get involved in clubs, find things that interest you especially freshman year, you have so many opportunities around here on campus, you can try everything. And if you don't like it, that's fine, move on. I mean, there's no hard feelings. So definitely do that, uh, get out, find something that you like uh, and then stick to that. Uh, maybe it's your passion, maybe it's what you wanna do as a career, uh, but definitely stick with it uh, throughout your college career because shoot, I mean, who knows, that may lead to bigger, greater things. Uh, you might find another connection through there. So yeah. That's what my advice would be. Yeah, um, I was about to, I was gonna say similar things, but probably the scariest part when you're a freshman is just putting yourself out there into different groups, into some new situations. But once you um, make that first step out there, it gets a lot easier and um, you definitely get to make a lot of great memories if you get involved with different clubs. Um, you can start with residence life um, in your dorm because there's that live-in requirement or there's different clubs around campus that there's um, a raptor club that you can um, learn about birds and you can even like, train them. Um, but there's a whole bunch of different things you can be involved with. Yeah, so that first week you're here before classes start, there is, I think, a club fair or some sort of thing where you can go and look at different clubs that are um, on campus. And it's just kind of a cool way to just see what, what's out there because you don't, you don't know everything that's out there. So, and that's totally okay. You're new, that's totally fine. Um, and yes, as the other two said, get just getting out of your dorm, just going for a walk even downtown with your roommate or with friends who came here with you that's the best way to just kind of get familiar and get comfortable with the area. Pullman's a great place to be. Um, WSU is as well, of course. So just walking around and just visiting all like the dining halls or just going to the different spots on campus to eat, you know, or going and sitting on Thompson Flats. It's a beautiful place to sit. Um, yeah. And then just, just putting yourself out there is the best thing. I, I waited a semester, just one semester, but it feels like I should, shouldn't have, I should have gotten involved right off the bat because I met some of my best friends. Um, specifically in the Murrow College, just getting out there and trying trying new things. So just putting yourself out there and making new friends is the, the best advice I can give. I think that's excellent advice from all of our ambassadors is the earlier you can get involved, the better connected you feel to WSU, but also to Murrow. So hopefully that kind of helps give you guys some guidance as you're a first time student on the WSU campus in the fall or spring semester. Um, I think the next question that a lot of people have had recently is with the changes going on um, due to COVID-19 this semester, a lot of our courses have moved to a distance delivery format. Um, additionally, a few of our Murrow classes are offered online only, right? So my question to you guys now is how do you find yourself, what are the tips that you use to be successful in this distance learning program, but also in the online courses that you may have taken in the past, because that is a part of our curriculum. Um, and we don't know how long this COVID is gonna last. So we would just wanna make sure that we're giving the best tips to our students moving forward. So as ambassadors, um, what are some of the best tips that you guys have? Um, I know with online classes, it can be pretty tricky, uh, especially keeping up with things. Uh, a lot of complaints I hear students have is, um, I just 
don't have time for it or I just find it really hard to motivate myself to actually do it. Um, and I feel both of those heavily. Um, but what my advice would be is just try staying in the routine. So during the class period that you would have in person, you're just doing the online version. Um, that way you're still in class and you have a set time period. So you know, okay, from 1025 to 1150, I'm doing um, Calm Drawer 335, something easy like that. Um, another thing I would say is uh, I write sticky notes and I put them right above my desk. So then I have all my assignments written out there so I can just take them down and crumple it and throw it away when I'm done. Um, those are some tips and tricks that help me. Uh, but what's positive about the Murrow College is that a lot of courses easily fluctuate to online. Um, it's not as difficult as trying to go in and do a lab for, let's say, biology or something like that. I mean, you're creating a video and then you're putting it out there or you're making something in Illustrator and you're putting it out there. So most of the stuff you can do from your computer um, and it's not as difficult as it seems. Uh, there is hope. Uh, just You just got to sit down, do it uh, and make sure that you're putting in the time and effort. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say a similar thing also. Um, yeah, just blocking out time for the class, um, even if it's an online class before we transition completely online, I had to say, okay, this is my time now to do this class and this class. Um, so yeah, scheduling is important. Um, I also use a Google Doc. I put down all my assignments that are due for the week so I can cross it off when it's done or I just plan what day I want to do that assignment before the due, due date. So then um, it's not stressing me out. Um, but yeah, it's, time management is a key thing. Yeah, I definitely agree. Time management is huge. Um, it's, but it's not, it's not impossible. Some people think, oh, I'm not good at time management, but it's definitely possible to tackle all the things you want to do in a day. Um, personally, I think um, fitting in some form of exercise is always good. I'm not saying I'm athletic, but I like to go outside and like go for a walk and just clear my head, you know, or go for a run or something and just, you know, in the morning or in the early afternoon. So fit something like that in just to take a break and clear your head. Um, I think that's just a basic thing. But as far as moving the Murrow classes online, it's definitely doable. Um, yeah, just as the other two said, just setting aside time to do it and just you know making a list get your planner out get all your materials out sit at your desk and just do it and take breaks when you need to it's totally okay to do that um also um the cool thing about the murrow college is that um we have a lot of professors who really just want to connect with you that's with anything in wsu all professors want to help you they're there to help you so if you have a question just ask and it's totally fine um, it sometimes it is a little bit difficult to um, concentrate with the online class and that's totally fine. Just ask those questions when, when you need an answer. And the cool thing about the Zoom lectures that we're doing is that you have other students there too. So you have uh, multiple inputs. It's not just the professor's input, uh, you have uh, other students. So you have a student view and a professor view, which is great. Um, but yeah, uh, basically just sit down, do your work, take frequent breaks, treat yourself, you know, get yourself a coffee every once in a while or you know, some candy to reward yourself for getting something done. Um, but yeah, just try your best. Great tips. Um, and I loved um, what Ariel said, particularly about our faculty and staff really working hard to make this um, doable for this semester, but also moving forward. I mean, we had a really great turnaround time as far as getting our students engaged and also answering questions that students may have had about resources and services that we offer in the Murrow College. So big shout out to our faculty and staff um, for getting that done this semester and um, potentially for future semesters moving forward. So we're really happy about that. Um, the next kind of final piece that I like to talk about is we've, we've now talked about classes and opportunities um, that you can do outside of the classroom. We've talked about how to be successful as a student here. Um, but another big thing that I think a lot of people forget about is when you're coming to WSU, you're committing to the Murrow College and you're committing to Washington State University, but you're also committing to Pullman. Um, that's where you're going to live for the next, you know, three, four, five years, however long you're here. And it's really important to know and to love the area that you're moving to. So the next question that I'll pose to our ambassadors is, what do you love about Pullman and what are your favorite things to do in the area? Um, so coming from a city like Tacoma uh, to Pullman was a pretty big jump. Um, population difference and just 
you know, activities difference. But that doesn't exactly limit Pullman uh, either. So something that I enjoy doing around Pullman, um, when the weather's nice, going for walks, runs, et cetera, I like those. Uh, we have a lot of gyms on campus. I think we have, what, three? Maybe they're open to anybody and students. I mean, I have one in my dorm uh, right downstairs. I know uh, Stevenson has one as well. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of gyms around campus where you can go to uh, if you like working out. Um, if not, there's some pretty nice places to eat. Um, there's a nice little taco truck downtown. Uh, it's a great time. Um, yeah, so really uh, just walking around, seeing what there is to see, um, not limiting yourself to just campus, because uh, if you do that, you're not going to experience Pullman as you could or should. Uh, there's a lot to do downtown. You just had to make tracks down there. Um, yeah, and walking up hills. I really enjoy walking up hills now. Who would have thought? Yeah, so I actually came from a town of 300 people to Pullman, and so it was very different. <laughs> um, I found that there is a lot of things to do if you seek them out. Um, WCU has a lot of um, activities and events that go on, but also the community of Pullman has a lot of um, community events as well. Um, they have the Chamber of Commerce has a um, community events calendar, so you can always check that out if you want to go with friends. Um, but also Moscow's eight miles away. If you ever want to do some exploring, they have a lot of cute shops as well. Um, Pullman, I like the downtown area because um, you're supporting local businesses if you go visit the different shops or restaurants. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of fun things to do around here. Yeah, Pullman's definitely a beautiful place to live. We get all the seasons. It snows a lot. It's really sunny during the summer. Um, we get some rainy days too. It's a, it's a great place to live and the, the community is very friendly. Um, I feel safe going downtown. I'll go for runs down there sometimes and it, it's comfortable. Um, sometimes, you know, you go to a new place and you're just like, I am not sure. Within the first week I was able to just go downtown and I felt completely safe. Um, there's, we have a pretty good transportation system. Uh, we have some buses. So you, if you want to get downtown that way, that's pretty simple. It just takes you from the top of campus down to downtown and it's great. Um, we have some, a lot of people think there's a stereotype out there that, you know, it's a college town. There's not a lot to do. We, we have a McDonald's, we have a Burger King, we have a bowling alley, we have a movie theater and they're all not far at all from campus. Just carpool with some friends and it's so much fun. And I, I love just going and um, just, even just going to Walmart's kind of fun. I don't know. Um, you just find some fun traditions. Um, I really like bowling at Zeppos. I think it's called Zeppos. Uh, they have some, some good food there and they, the bowling is really fun. Um, yeah, you can, there's just a lot more to do than you think and you just have to look for it. Um, and yeah, as the other two said, uh, the university does put on some fun events like every weekend there's a movie night. Um, with some movies that haven't necessarily been released yet, but um, it's it's just fun. You just find things to do. I that's the only thing I can say, I guess. That's great. Um, I obviously agree that Pullman and the Moscow area is a great place to live. I've been here for a long time, um, but it's always fun to see students come in and find new things to do. Um, something that our ambassador group did this last semester was we actually found an escape room um, over in Moscow. We didn't know they had one, and we did that as a team, and, and that was really fun. So I think there's always something to be done and something to be found in this area. Um, but going back to the advice um, that our ambassadors had for first-year students is just to jump right into clubs and activities so you can meet people that you can go do those awesome things in Pullman with. So um, great advice from all of our ambassadors again. Um, for the most part, that concludes our student panel. Um, those are the biggest, most typical questions I would say we get from students that are interested in WSU and Moreau. But in the meantime, if you think of any other questions or you want to connect with one of these ambassadors specifically, please reach out to the Murrow College. Um, you can reach out to me directly. My contact information will be listed um, along with this video, um, but you can also call us, um, you can email us and we'll definitely get you connected and get your questions answered. So thanks so much for sitting with us today. And we hope that this was a little bit helpful as you decide to make your journey to Pullman. So go Cougs. Go Cougs. <laughs>